This is always really awkward, by the way. <laughs> right. We're here, we're diving straight into it in this one, and uh, we're just vasectomizing a couple of blacky tups so they can be used as teasers. Uh, I wanted to get a video here. <laughs> we're with the Davies at Blagden Burn, and we've got this tremendous setup. We get very well looked after by our clients. That's Lee doing the heavy lifting there. It's blacky tup, he's had a bit of sedation. He's had a bit of a clean of his tackle uh, and a bit of local put in. Got an operating table and everything. So without further ado, Let's do some vasectomizing. Lee, have you even got a camera stand for me? Oh, it's quite heavy. Nope. Good turn. I mean, that'll do, that's, that'll do, that'll do there. Brilliant. Uh, I've got a table there. Now, before we go any further, this is some footage I hadn't even realized I'd captured. For those of you who work with blackies, that is Scottish blackface sheep, you'll know they're tough. They're mean, they're a great sheep, but they do have a degree of that Caledonian spirit in them. The farmer, Ed, here does a great job of showing you just how nimble you need to be to work with these sheep. You can do that. Cheers. Let's talk about this setup then. As I said, we have a table which is a real help. The surgical kits we use have been autoclaved. This is a means of sterilization. Essentially, they are cooked at a very high temperature to kill any bugs at the same time the packet is sealed. As soon as we open those kits, we break the seal, they are vulnerable to losing that sterility, to becoming contaminated, by stuff blowing in or dropping in to the sterile field. Sometimes at a pinch, we use upturned lick buckets or similar. This sort of table, however, is sturdy, well elevated out of any potential muck and is at human height. Another of our farmers bought a trestle table for about 30 quid at a well-known German supermarket, which they now use every time they handle cattle, they use it for paperwork, equipment, and everything else. And guess what? It also comes in very handy for AI and cesarean sections. I can highly recommend this purchase. As you can see, the setup here is pretty basic, but makes a huge difference. The pallet mounted on the loader brings the top up to my height. The alternative is doing him on the ground or in a sort of hammock seat. Don't get me wrong, we all do them like that, and I doubt you'll ever hear a vet complain about doing it like that. But if we're doing a decent sized batch, it really does take the pressure off the surgeon's back and knees. Plus, the assistant holding the tub can normally lean back on the loader too. That makes it easier for them as well. Finally, the light is often better up at a height so the surgeon can see a little better what they are doing. The carving ropes over this tup's feet are just a bit of extra restraint to stop him kicking. He's sedated and he has local anaesthetic around the surgical site, but he's not fully anaesthetized, is probably a little confused and resents me handling his crown jewels. If that all sounds like a very soft farm vet trying to justify this, you probably have a point. I hope to have a long and maybe even successful career as a farm vet. And I know that looking after myself will make that easier. A wise vet once told me, and I think the same goes for farming, that being a vet is a thinking man's game. Other than that in 2021, it's more likely to be a thinking woman's game. About 80% of my year at vet school were female. I think he's right. While there will always be a degree of physicality to this job, a lot of effort, energy and time 
can be saved through forethought and design. To put it another popular way, work smarter, not harder. Setting aside the benefit to the vet, this setup will also likely speed up the job. And given that many of us now charge on time, it should save the farmer a few quid as well. Apologies, the GoPro is a bit too far away to see lots of the good surgical action in detail. For a better idea and a better view, go and take a look at one of my previous videos we did with a tub belonging to one of my colleagues, Jenny. For an idea of how teaser tubs can be used to maximum effect, guess what? I've got a technical video for that as well. The links to both of those videos are in the description. Don't forget, if you like this video and you want to follow more of my journey as a farm vet, meeting clients, meeting livestock, seeing some fantastic places, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're feeling really generous, go ahead, leave me a comment and give this video a big thumbs up. And like that, they're done. So they'll stay in here, well, they'll stay in a, inside in a sort of well-bedded dry pen, keep the wounds on their scrotum uh, nice and clean. The guys here will check them after a few days. Hopefully they'll be dry, healing well, and then they'll head outside, which will be the cleanest place for them. And actually, although I think, yes, there's a little bit of a procedure involved for the tups, it's probably just about the best life you could have as a sheep in that you get to have all the fun and none of the responsibility of being a breeding tup. Those two tups will help the farmers here by synchronizing uh, the estrus of the breeding sheep and so make the lambing at the other end nice and compact. That's the idea, that's why these guys do it. Short and sweet one today, hopefully. Nothing perhaps you haven't seen before, but I really like that setup. If you're doing more than two, certainly it makes sense if you're the vet uh, to not be bent over all the time. It's not very conducive uh, to having a good back. I'm 28 now, I'm hoping to work for another 40 plus years. The guys here are good enough to look after me, so I might not be in a wheelchair by then. Uh, last but not least, I've got my little souvenir from this trip. So those are the spermatic cords, just in case there was any failure and those tups were still found to be fertile. I can go back, send those away to a lab and they can double check for us that that is the right tissue. That's definitely the spermatic cord. Touch wood, it's not something I'll ever have to do. It's really one of those things you do as an insurance. So I've got my souvenirs. I've showed you the cool setup with that over and out.